What's up guys and girls and welcome to my short let's play and this is Apple Bite like always and yeah we're gonna do a let's play of Walk -a Melee. Um this game I've never beaten it. I've gone like maybe halfway through it, maybe. Um let's put the music down, it's so loud right now. Let's put it down to three. Okay. Um Yes, I would like to keep them. Anyways, I've only gone through halfway of the game, and I think it's a game that I would love commenting or commenting over, commentating over. Yeah. So without further ado, uh, you know this is available on Steam, PS Vita, uh, and I'm sure other platforms. But I'm playing the PC version, the Gold Edition. And without further ado, let's get started. Yes, want to start a new game. Juan! Are you home, Juan? Wake- or Juan, wake up, Juan! I'm coming, I'm coming. Whoa, look at that girly poster I have right up there. Um, as you might notice, this game looks fantastic. Looks so good. Anyways, uh, got some more posters, luchador candles, got some uh, tequila, you know, I lift some weights from time to time, you know, you know how it is, yeah. Oh, look at those luchador figurines right up there, those are pretty sick. You're finally awake, noon is upon us, the sun's at its zenith, no time to sleep the day away, the Dia de los Muertos festival is nigh. Take some time to compose yourself. I could use your strong arms at the church once you brush your teeth. Once I brush my teeth? Son, do you see how white these teeth are? I'm like Kesha, I'm gonna freaking brush my teeth with tequila. See how you like it then. But goddamn, this game's pretty. And, you know, recording this will give me a good excuse for finally being this damn game. It's really fun. I hope you guys enjoy it, because I know I will. So to uh, Puebluco or Chu Chu something, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce words. Up supposedly, uh, we could break barrels because we're freaking badasses. As you can see, it's a, a Metroidvania type game. So uh, like Metroid. Hi, Juan. On the Luchadors are practicing for the upcoming Dia de los Muertos tournament. I can't let you pass. Okay, fine, whatever. They want to go that way, anyways. So I think we're supposed to go to the church. Juan, I have a fiesta soon, and I don't want to be short on tequila. Oh, sorry, Juan. I'd love to invite you, but it's luchadors only. I'm not a luchador, but look at these moves, man! How can you not make me a luchador? There's a lot of flavor text, and, you know, I really like it. It certainly is quiet in the house these days. I just can't bring myself to get rid of her favorite toy, though. So I keep in a cellar under the stairs. Can, can I have that toy? Look at that. That is definitely me. Do I not look like that? Look at those... That defined chest. Those uh, very round nipples. Yeah. Definitely like me. Casa del Pollo. So, House of the Chicken? House of Chickens! Oh my god! It's Zelda all over again. I hope the chickens don't attack me. I'm, I'm out. Alright, it says El Gato... El Gato Negocio versus Rana Soltero. The, the Lone Frog versus the something cat? I don't know. Goal! Oh my gosh, the World Cup started today. So excited for that. Actually, yeah. Uh, La Mascara versus Mega Hombre. La Mascara, that's a. Uh, Majora's Mask reference, you can tell by the shape of the mask, and I'm guessing that's like Bane or something? Oh, I think I found the church, so... Hola Juan, thanks for coming to help. I'm trying to clear out some of the space in here, we're expecting people to come from all over for the festival. Even El Presidente's daughter has returned from La Universidad de Lucha, or Santa Luchita. Enough gossip. Could you bust up those empty barrels over in the corner? So you want me to break these? 
There you go. That was easy. What strength? I knew you had it in you. El Presidente Daughter always says she saw your potential as well. Such a nice girl, and I'm so glad that El Ambassador's son is out of the picture. Him and El Cabinete's minister's wife. What a scandal. Habla del Rey de Roma, basically like speak of the devil in, in Spanish. Uh, <laughs> look who's appeared! Hola, fr <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Hello, Frey. <laughs> I. Juan! Frey asked me to stop by today. I didn't expect you to be here. Juan, you look so. muscly, attractive, studly. Huh? You wanna jump into, uh, you know, the back room over there? Remember when we were kids? We used to go <laughs> into so much trouble. Or we used to get into so much trouble together. I, I don't think I can keep up these voices. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow, that feels so long ago now. You've really grown up. I'll show you what else has grown up. Yeah, fix yourself up, girl. Anyways, Frey, I found the chairs you were asking about. I'll bring them over later. Juan, can you come by the mansion and help me carry them? Psh, I'll help you carry more than just chairs, baby. Yeah, yeah. I'd really love to spend some time with you. Folding chairs, maybe? If you wanted, maybe we could even go to the festival together. I should go. Hope to see you later, Juan. Bye, Frey. Or, is it Frey or Fry? I think it's Fry. Uh, hey, Juan. Didn't you hear what she says? Now's your chance. Ho, 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 ho. This is better than watching telenovelas, which are like soap operas. Whoa, how many times do I have to tell those kids not to play with fireworks. What was I saying? Yes, El Presidente Daughter, you should really go see her. Alright, so basically, that's our love interest for the game. And we're about to get Jigga Jigga. Jigga Jigga Jigga. Look at that kick. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, game references in this game. Hey Juan, what's up? Some chairs for the festival? Sure, I'll just... I just meal. El Presidente's mansion is on fire. Do something, Juan. Uh... Okay. Um, going. This whole place is on fire. Look at this place. It looks so good. Is my is my booty call okay? Oh, so someone is trying to play hero. You're far from the fields, a grave boy. This is no place for you. Run, run! Now before this ugly skeleton gets to you, or gets you too. Whatever. Ha ha ha! What do we have here? I sure wouldn't mind melting those eyes off your skull, kid! Skull kid, get it? Ha ha ha. Uh, Gran Kalaka. It looks like it's my pleasure to get rid of this intruder. Leave this to me, flame face. I could use a bit of action today. Hell yeah, you can! Silencio. Uh, if, uh... <laughs> if Jaguar Javier were here, he could be trusted to handle this. Unfortunately, he's occupied. I'll get rid of this puny himador myself. The living world may have chosen to forget me once, but I will not give them the choice this time. I am Carlos Galacta, ruler of the dead world, and you, you are not even a luchador. Prepare to die. <laughs> My voice acting is just terrible. Look at me, I look freaking like... I'm like, uh... Do I not even get a chance? Nope, I'm dead. Juan! No! Por qué? Yeah. Stereotypical. <laughs> it has a lot of, like I said, it has a lot of flavor text. And uh, we were killed, basically. This is the world of the dead. As you can tell, it's kind of more uh, purplish, kind of more gloomy. Dude, what's in here? There's these, uh, these colored tiles. We could break them with special moves that we learn later, so... Nothing we could do about them right now. The mask! The mask of truth! Greetings, swans. I am Tostada. <laughs> Guardian of the mask. How interesting that the mask has revealed itself to you. Collecta has thrown the universe out of order. You must... Have some role to play. If you put on this mask, or if you put this mask on, Juan, it's the po its power will bring you back to the world of the living. Are you ready? Do I have a choice? Because I don't think I do. 
I mean, I didn't get a yes or no option. Oh yeah, my clothes are ripping off because I'm ripped. Now that's what I call a luchador. Psst, luchador over here. The town is under attack by evil skeletons. Is is a barrel really talking to me right now? You've locked <laughs> or they locked everyone in the church and I fear they attempt to burn them to the ground. Please save us. Before you go, though, a tip. If you ever want to check your current objective, hit blank. Now please go to save the town. I'll be pretending to be a barrel. Okay, so this is a... you could play with two players. I'll be playing this by myself, so... Get back, you fiend! Help! Help! You there, luchador! Save me from the Esqueleto skeletons! Come down here! Oh, I got hit! That's not good. Whoa, dodge! Oh, ah! Uh. And throw! Thank you, my son. But we aren't safe yet. They've locked all the townsfolk in the water closet. Help us! We're scared and it smells gross in here! Someone probably farted. Hey, hey, hey! Here they come! Or, I, I, I. Oops. Bam! You saw that combo? So this is a, a combo heavy game. Don't let them hit you, Lucha Lord. Just roll in the end of the swipe. Like that. That's it. Keep rolling into the swipes. Whoa, that one's fast. Don't forget to dodge his attacks. Uppercut. Down cut. Throw. Oh, that's not. That's, that was enough. Ah, we're safe at last. You saved the day. Now please free the townsfolks from the water closet. Right here? Help us. Uh, sure. Uh, I can't thank you enough for what you've done today, Luchador. Still, I worry for the, for the safety of El Presente and his family. Uh, look for s clues in Santa Luchita. I think some of the evil esqueletos were headed that way. Godspeed, Luchador. The world is in need of your help. Yeah, no problem. I mean, you know. So, these people with uh, exclamation marks... Uh, they actually hold quests for us, so let's just, you know. Uh, the way you dealt with those er, skeletons was magnifico. Uh, perhaps you can help me with a small problem of mine? My helmet has become overrun with chickens. I don't know how, but they escaped their pen. Do whatever it takes just to get them back into their pen. Punch them, throw them, it's okay, my chickens are the toughest around. So I'm gonna abuse chickens right now. The funny thing is, he never told me where his house was. So, let's look at our objective. Traverse the forest to get to Santa Luchita. Okay, so, uh, I think it's over this way. And since this is the first episode of this series, I'm gonna make it a little bit longer than I usually do. And hopefully you guys appreciate that. I think it's up here? The forest, it calls to me. Yeah. Uh, so, as you saw, Every time we kill uh, enemies, depending on how well we do, we get a certain amount of coins. At least I believe that's how it works. I know we get coins for killing monsters, but I think you get more if uh, you do better. And with that money, you could uh, buy abilities and costumes. So you see here, uh, we do have currency. Um, you can also buy uh, costumes, which is pretty cool. Like, you know. Uh, yeah, all these costumes, whatever. Alright, so let's get a move on. We can't afford anything. We're broke bitches right now. Um, damn, I felt 15 hit combo. So yeah, this, this game is really combo heavy as you can see. Uh, really fun to play, definitely. Oh, I got hit with a uh, freaking. Oh, and getting hit breaks your combo. Ah, uh, I keep breaking my combo.
yeah, so hopefully we uh hopefully I don't mess up too much. And the thing I hate about those skeletons, especially these in particular, is the fact that they can um their bones go through the walls, which I think is completely unfair. Stop right there, Luchador. Or is from Carlos Calactica. I warn you, take one more step and it will be your demise. Uh, what's that? You want to know who I am? Yeah, sure, why not? You seem like an honorable luchador, so I will answer your question. My name is Jaguar Javier. I was once human like you. My youth, I lived and trained in these very woods. I became a mystical warrior serving noble kings and leading great armies to victory. But th that was a long time ago. Now I serve Galactica. The final days of Earth are upon us. I suggest you return home and spend them with the ones you love. You so stubborn, this one. Hell yeah, I'm not gonna back down now, Tagami. Richard already saved the church, an admirable and heroic feat, but your journey ends here. It pains me... Uh, pains me to so unceremonial... Unceremoniously dispatch a warrior such as yourself, but we can't, or you can't, uh, say I didn't warn you. Whoa, man, he just knocked that whole bridge out! But I'm alive because, you know, how fun would it be to, to die right off the bat? It wouldn't be very fun. So there is some platforming in this game. Also, pretty simple platforming. Over here we have a chest and we collected our first basically heart piece. You could call them heart pieces. Uh, that's basically what it is anyways, so... Uh, I think you collect three of them, and you get a health boost. So, uh, you know, keep an out or a lookout for those. You want to fight? Yeah, 26 hits. I want that treasure chest. I can't get it, though. Not yet, at least. Uh, so these spikes, you can actually roll through them. Like this. Yeah, if you walk into them, they'll just damage you. Hello, big chicken. Hey, dude. Use, uh, blank or blank to roll through spikes. It's awesome sauce. Yeah, pretty good. I think I like using L. Uh, the left trigger because it's just more natural for me. You can use the right stick also. Pretty cool. You can jump and use uh, your dodge. So I think you're never really vulnerable as long as you dodge appropriately. And this is basically like a gauntlet room. Bam! Bring it on. Oh yeah, getting that combo up. Throw! Throw! And you could throw enemies into other enemies for combos, obviously. 99 hits and a bitch ain't one. Wait, what? <laughs> I think that's 99 problems, but whatever. Close enough, we got a bunch of money for that. And... Hmm. Uh, we'll continue a little bit more. Uh, can't afford anything yet. Jump through that. Roll through this. Uh, keep going to the right. Doesn't this look like a Metroid? Yeah, I think it does. Let's go in this house. Oh, money! Someone just got robbed! What? You crazy luchador! Why you gotta break my Chozu statue? It's like Chozo because it looks like the Chozo statues from Metroid. Like very, very similar. Uh, ay caramba, man! I only got 15 of those things left. Typical luchador is punch first and ask questions never. Behold, I am the great Y Chivo, Lord of all man goats, warrior, trainer, extraordinary, and king of awkward punishments. Now, before we go, tell me, is your mother single? Does she have a type? Does she like bad boys? I was, I was not gonna...
bat like a sheep. Um, okay then. Uh, explain to me why you, or how you got here and don't skip out on anything, especially on how you got that mask. So, I tell him the story. Kalakta, the temple of President Zoder and uh, Jaguar Javier, my former student. I'll just have to ask your mother out after we save the world. First, we must train you in the arts of the true luchadors. The statue you just broke contains a magical power, the rooster uppercut. Press up and B to perform a powerful move. This move can break red blocks and can be performed in the air. Be careful, if you use too much, you'll tire yourself out for a while. Whatever you say, goat man. You work on that move, kiddo. If it doesn't kill you, we'll continue or if it doesn't kill you, we'll continue your training next time we meet. I got the rooster uppercut. Love that screen. So once we got that, we can make our way back, and like he said, we could use it to break these uh, blocks, like so. And it gives us a little, like almost like a second jump. Wait, I can make that. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can make that. Uh, there's a cooldown time. If you look on um, on the top left, there's my HP bar, and under those are our blocks. Those are my basically like you could consider them like my mana, or. Uh, I don't know, my, uh... Basically, they're the number of times I can use the move before I have to pull down. So... And Rooster Uppercut! There you go. Right there, we got nothing, I think. Maybe. So, let's continue a little bit longer. I think we have to go up here. Oh, this is tricky. Oh, I messed that up. And that's what I like about the game too, like I fell in the water and you know, that's supposed to be like a death or something, but it just brings you right back. So you want to roll through that and do an uppercut right after to uh, give you a jump. Take this, Esqueletos! Yeah! 19 hit combo! I think this is another gauntlet room? Yeah, it is. Hold up and B to knock standing opponents into air. Oh. Okay, so these are a special enemy, uh, they're like plant creature things, and uh, they don't come out from the ground unless you uppercut them, so you kind of have to uppercut them uh, for you to attack them. I'm trying to vary up my combos too. No, I want to hit you. I missed a bunch of times already. Oh, there's one more death. Up. Can you guys come down? There you go. Oh man, I still got hit by that. <laughs> I thought I timed it pretty perfectly, but nope, I was wrong. And I think that's it. Break the pinata and you get a bunch of coins. I think that's really cool too, the whole pinata thing. Like, oh, you just finished the room. Let me reward you with a pinata. So we got a combo going on, let's continue it. Hit him, hit him, yeah, no I don't think I kept my combo going, unfortunately, no. Uh, so I can come up here, and I think this is where I'm going to end the episode. So uh, before we leave, uh, I'm going to get, let's see, what should we get? Should we get Das Boot, Suplex, or Power Driver? Uh, pfft. let's get the suplex. Come on now. And with that, this is the end of the first episode. So, if you guys liked the episode, make sure to leave a like and or favorite the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys are excited to play through the rest of this as much as I am. And until next time, boys and girls, I'll see you guys later. Johnny.